nothing's normal. What is normal? You know, like nothing is normal. It's just programming. It's programming. And like, honestly, everyone's in, in it for their, their own agenda, really. Uh, or they're, they're, they're made to think that they're in it for everybody else's <laughs> agenda. Um, so that's where like the healing comes in is to break free of, you know, the things that don't serve you and release them. Um, as I'm sitting here, like kind of actually like blow drying my hair and putting makeup on cause it's, I feel like I haven't done that in a while. I've been trying to do the self care thing or I just, I've been neglecting the self care thing. Um, and I got to thinking, you know, oh, as we age, we want to look younger. But when we're young, we want to look older. So, I guess as an older, <laughs> wiser version of me, um, it makes me sad to see young beautiful girls, you know, who don't have the wrinkles and, and they're just beautiful skin and, you know, they're trying to look older, like older. And it really takes away from their natural beauty that goes away. And I mean, we, we age, right? So then it's harder to, uh, it's just harder to feel youthful and young as we age. Um, so I, that was me. I was always trying to be, I was always trying to look older, be older, you know, with the fake ID, with the fake ID. Yeah, that was me with my fake ID. <laughs> we won't even go into that story. So I have so many stories to tell you guys. I really lived a very interesting life um, that's brought me to a path of authenticity, vulnerability. Um, you know, I'm not really, I don't have any material things. Um, I've, I've chosen a path of healing, of spiritual growth, of helping others. Um, I, I mean, I, I am struggling um, when it comes to like the normal life um, because I used to live that life, but I used to live that life very drunk and very um, sad and depressed and insecure. And, um, and I thought I had to do all those things and what, what that got me, um, it was a life of misery and addiction. Misery and addiction. And trust me, like you don't see it coming. Like you don't see it coming where, you know, you're young and partying just feels like it's fun, right? Oh yeah, partying is fun. It's fun to party. Yeah, of course it's fun to party. But let me tell you what, it's progressive. It is, um, it's like putting poison in your system because it just has so many effects and you know you don't know if it's you until you know it's you and then you might know when you're young and not and not really face it or not really um do the work the work is the healing work and um so i think like When I say this, I say this with a very genuine heart is that you can freaking party sober and it is the best partying, in my opinion, that you will ever have because it's the real you. You will remember where you were, what you did, who you were with, um, you know, why you didn't like it, why you chose to let, to leave, or why, you know, it was really awesome, or why maybe, hey, that wasn't right, so let's try something else. Um, new experiences, um, partying sober, trying like 
um, different NA beverages. Um, I've been experimenting with different NA beverages and, and it's fun. Um, I've just chosen uh, that new path, which took me a really long time. I was um, 45 when I finally like took this, you gotta get sober and help yourself because you, you're a beautiful human inside. You're a mom, your daughter, your sister, your friend. You know, you do work and um, I wish I had gotten it sooner. But it's, it's God's time. It's, it's not my time. It's God's time. So. Let's get down, get funky, get loose. Sober. I actually might do a dance party. Start hosting a dance party. Sober dance party on Zoom on Saturday nights. Because now I have Saturdays off. So, um, I've been doing my own hair, like, so it's pretty wild, pretty wild. I actually blew it out, so I put some product in it. <laughs> Bye.